I'm just taking time to make the proper use of my influence. Couple hundred thousand cash, a few haters, lawyer fees for new cases, and a box of blunts later I give you. TTG the family man was good. We back and we better. We better and we back with another reaction video to react to today. Um, the title of this video, this one, is called A Trucker's 110 Year Sentence for a Deadly Accident Sparks an Outrage. Um, I found this one on Inside Edition. Uh, for y'all who don't know, for those who are new to the channel, um, when I do my reactions, I don't watch the video beforehand. So everything that we're about to find out, we're going to be finding out together. It's like, I can't say it's like a marriage because I don't. I don't really know who you are, but yeah, it's like a, a common law marriage. Like we, you know, we spend years together. We've been together for a minute and you feel me? I'm still hold me down, but nah, um, yeah, while I'm on that subject, man, I appreciate everybody who take the time, check out the video, um, like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff, man. It's really appreciated. It's pre appreciated more than you could actually imagine so yeah again i appreciate everybody who's taking the time to watch this video but yeah we're gonna see what happened man um condolences to the family like i said in the title that it was a deadly accident you know accidents happen um we can't plan everything so yeah condolences to the family and to the people who lost their lives um but on a positive note is the season to be jolly fa la 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 there is growing outcry over I'm clowning, the 110 year I'm sentence clowning. given to a truck driver who killed four people when the brakes on his big rig failed the judge says so wait the brakes on his truck failed if the brakes on the truck fail how can that possibly be his fault that's actually one of my biggest fears to be honest i know i say a lot i'm like uh, what's that global warming one of my biggest fears but <clears throat> with driving and cars and stuff that's one of my biggest fears and it don't necessarily have to be your brakes that are the brakes that fail it could be someone else's brakes who fail you know it's 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 crazy out here it's crazy out here man his hands were tied thanks to sentencing guidelines but more than four million people have signed a petition saying that sentence has got to be changed this motorist is live Never screaming as he sits in slow moving traffic. He doesn't know it, but tragedy is about to erupt. We just cured anxiety. Oh! Bro. Sis, grandma, whoa. 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 I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. So it's live. It was streamed live. So, yo, that's, I'm telling y'all, if y'all know something, that's one of my biggest fears is being in traffic and oncoming traffic. Like, man, it's terrifying oh if you God. ever had an experience like this. This motorist is Hold live on now. as he sits in slow moving traffic. He doesn't know it, but tragedy is about to erupt. We just cured anxiety. Oh! Look at how fast, yo, that truck was moving. Yeah, the brakes, the brakes failed. That truck was moving. Listen to how fast this it was motorist going. You is can live hear it. Screaming as he sits in slow moving said. traffic. He doesn't know it, but Listen. tragedy is about to erupt. We just cured anxiety. Oh my God! The brake that just sped past him crashes. Triggering a fireball in which four people were God killed. God, Something's Lee. on fire blew up up here, guys. Josh McCutcheon goes into journalist mode, giving a live account of the terrible pileup. We are live. Yo, that is unheard of. This looks unheard of. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Yo. Wow. Wow, I couldn't imagine. On the scene, things are exploding. I he's horrified by what he's witnessing. If you believe in prayer, now's a good time to say one. The crash happened oh in 2019. Goodness. 
And now the truck driver, Rogel Aguilera Medeiros, is about to hear sentence pronounced. I'm begging for forgiveness. He says he's... Was he drunk? Like, it got, it got to be a reason to dish out a... You can't just slap out a hundred and... Well, they do it. I'm not going to lie. They do. They do it. But it got to be a reason. It got to be a reason. That's 110 years. 110 years. That's like four... I could live four times. That's like four of my lifetimes almost. It's failed. Prosecutors say he passed a runaway truck ramp where he could have pulled off. He was convicted on 27 counts, including vehicular homicide and reckless drug. Hold up. Prosecutors say he passed a runaway truck. Hold up. I didn't even know they had that runaway truck. Ramp. That's crazy. That is crazy. I didn't even know they had that. There's so many safety people. Like, man, there's so much stuff that I learn on a day-to-day -day basis. It's crazy. But I didn't even know that they had runaway truck ramps and stuff like that in, in case something like this did happen. But, again, me looking at it from my point of view, even if it is right there, why did you, you driving a truck? I don't know if y'all ever been inside of one. I've been inside of one of, inside of, one of the uh, CDL 18-wheelers and... I actually drove a, what's that, a box? I, I drove one of them before. I forgot what it was. Um, but while you inside of it, you sit high. And the seats, they have hydraulics on them. So while you driving, it's like you sitting over top of the steering wheel. So it's not like a regular car. You know, you, go, you, know, you might be like this. Or you might be, you know, you might drive with it with one finger. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. But whatever the case may be. When you get inside of those trucks, they're bigger. They're bigger. So when you're sitting up high, you're controlling the steering wheel like this. I'm sure that while he was driving, if the brakes actually did fail and the truck couldn't stop, I don't think he was really paying attention to the ramp signs. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just giving uh, uh, another opinion on it. I'm just giving you another perspective. That's all. Either he was way, convicted this is on crazy. 27 counts including vehicular homicide and reckless driving. Because huh. of sentencing guidelines in Colorado, he was sentenced to one. years. you should be trained years. for stuff now, like that. Now, the sentence is triggering a tidal wave of sympathy for the trucker. More than four and a half million people have signed an online petition demanding the governor grant That's clemency. a lot of people. Celebrities are also getting involved. Kim Kardashian is calling for a reduction in the 110-year sentence. The district attorney has also asked for the sentence to be reconsidered. What does Rohel think about all of this outpouring of support for him? He was humbled, um, and uh, when I mentioned okay. that he had 4.5 million people sign a petition for clemency, um, he broke down in tears. And the semi truck just came barreling down about 80 miles an hour. We spoke to Josh McCutcheon, the motorist who live streamed the crash. I think definitely should have had some sort of prison time i mean actions have consequences but 110 years i mean that's the guy's whole life oh my god some truck drivers are threatening to boycott colorado meanwhile the oh. governor says he's been asked to commute the sentence he's looking into the case all right y'all i don't know comment y'all let me know what y'all think about it that's that's um that's a slippery situation that's a tricky situation because we don't know. I feel like we don't know. We don't know. If I can see they could slap him and throw him under the jail if they found him like, uh, what is it, uh, DUI or something like that. Or or even, even if you're tired and you fall asleep behind the wheel or something like that. Like, okay, I can see if you slap him for that. But getting slapped because your brakes failed? Especially, see... I used to work on I used to work with CDL trucks and stuff like that. You're supposed to check all of that stuff before you head out. It's so detailed and it's so crucial. Like the lights, you know how you have lights on your car, of course, but like if you have um what on the passenger side it might be like a little light strip or something like that. It's so detailed that if one of those are out, the DOT, Department of Transportation, they can pull you over, give you a ticket, take your license, give you a point or whatever, because one of your lights are out. So I know that they detail. I know that they detail with stuff like this. But, man, this is sad. This is unfortunate, especially, again, around the holiday season, man. Well, wait, I'm tripping. They said it happened in 2019. 
But for him, during the holiday season, that's uh, that's heavy. I don't know how to feel about it. I I feel like, of course, what happened is what happened, and you can't look past that. You can't look past that at all. But like, how? How did that happen? Like, how did that really happen? And the truck wrap thing, I didn't know about that. I didn't know that they had escape routes and stuff. And like, there's so much stuff that I be learning that I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I understand that concept. I understand that concept 100%. But I also know that while driving and you're in the CDL 18 wheel or whatever, you sitting like this. And they said it was going 80 miles per hour. So I'm sure the high drop, you... So why you ba I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But again, condolences to the family and uh everybody who was involved in the situation. Um kids, man, you know, that's somebody mom, somebody's dad, somebody's granddad, somebody aunt, somebody, you know. I say that and I really mean that when I'm like, you know, uh what's up, bro, sis, cuz, auntie, uncle, grandma. Like, everybody, man, it's a family. This is a family. Everything operate under family rules in my book. All of that other shit. If you're not family, then. But that's a different subject, man. Um, sad, sad, sad story. Um, I'm going to keep a close eye on it, though. We can keep a tab on this one. We're going to keep this tab open. Um, G G T G the family. I love y'all as always, man. Again, I appreciate y'all for checking out my material, my uh, portfolio. It's all love, man. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy that holiday season. Y'all go chill with y'all family. Make sure you get in that kitchen, man. I'm trying to make sure you get in that kitchen. Don't be, you know, sitting all on the couch and smelling. No, make, get up in the kitchen, throw some, you know, have fun with it, man. Have fun with it, man. So, again, GTG the family, I love y'all. I'm out. Undefeated Underdogs is the channel, man. Let's get it.